Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, took a step towards the coveted technological goal of achieving hypersonic flight with the launch of a technology validation mission on Wednesday. DRDO Wednesday launched a technology demonstrator vehicle to prove a number of critical technologies for future missions from Dr. Abdulkalim Island off the coast of Odisha. The data has been collected and will be analyzed to validate the critical technologies, announced the DRDO. Rockets have long traveled at hypersonic speeds, but they have the advantage of carrying their own oxygen, along with their fuel. Achieving hypersonic flight with an air-breathing engine is the greater challenge. Only Americans, French, Chinese and Australians have managed 10-second hypersonic flights. The DRDO has targeted a 20-second flight. Reports indicate that India is moving rapidly to acquire the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System 2, NASAMS 2, from the United States. This is to be part of its defense shield to protect New Delhi, in the first instance, followed by other major Indian cities, from missile and drone attacks. The initial area in New Delhi that is to be protected against missile and drone attacks is the VIP-89 zone, which includes the Parliament Building, Rashtrapati Bhavan and North and South blocks. The NASAMS-2 system will be integrated into an overall, multi-layered, defense anti-missile network that will eventually include indigenous, Israeli and Russian systems. New Delhi's anti-missile defense system will use Russian S-400 Triumph missiles as its first layer of defense, these being capable of intercepting incoming missiles at ranges of 120, 200, 250 and 380 kilometers. The second defense layer will use indigenous missile systems, developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. India's advanced air defense and Prithvi missiles, which are currently limited to 1525 and 8100 kilometers respectively, could have their strike ranges extended in future, to become the first layer of defense. The third will use the Barak-8 medium-range missiles that were jointly developed by India and Israel. The NASAMS-2 system would form the innermost layer of defense and will help in preventing 9-11 type attacks on Delhi. For an aircraft that is facing numerous technical challenges despite years of development and operational capability, the F-35 has become something of a sensation in India. Even vague rumors that the US has offered its latest stealth fighter to India are enough to set off fireworks in the media. It happened first on July 22, 2007, and again in January 2018, with the Press Trust of India being the culprit on both occasions. In between these two instances of media-driven hype, there was Prime Minister Narendra Modi's famous US 2014 visit during which several Indian journalists were speculating that India was likely to sign an F-35 deal. Now comes a media report that the US has offered India the F-35 in order to steer New Delhi away from the Russian-built S-400 air defense system. Since threats don't work against India anymore, the Donald Trump administration seems to have offered a big sop to get India to walk out of the rupees 40,000 crore deal to buy five S-400 systems. In a path-breaking attempt, India on Wednesday conducted first test of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, HTDV, from a defense test facility off Odisha coast setting the perfect ground for development of long-range cruise missiles. Mounted on an Agni series missile, defense sources said, the technology demonstrator vehicle was launched in autonomous mode from the world-class missile complex located at Kulam Island at about 11.25 am. Thrusted by scramjet engine it can cruise at Mach 6 and have multiple civilian applications, including launch of satellites at low cost besides long-range cruise missiles. Defense authorities claimed that the vehicle was launched successfully and India became the second country in the world after the US to have developed the hypersonic technology. ISRO has announced the launch date for India's second moon mission, Chandrayaan-2 powered by GSLVMK3. 
The launch will take place early morning at 2.51 a.m. on July 15, Monday, and the landing is expected on September 6 or 7. ISRO says it is following the same launch strategy that was followed for Chandrayaan-1. We are expecting to find water. We never left any stone unturned and we've conducted thousands of tests, says ISRO. The space agency also revealed that one rover wheel will have Ashika Chakra and the rover and lander will have the tricolor. के लिए इतना ही अगर इस वीडियो को लेकर आपका कोई सुझाव या सजेशन हो तो उसे कॉमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर जरूर करें अगर आपने इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर नहीं किया है तो इसे लाइक और शेयर करें और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें